How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the Creality Ender 3 V2, the latest and greatest in the Ender series of printers from Creality. Before we get started in this video, I wanna say thank you to Banggood for sponsoring this video by sending me this Ender 3 V2. If you're interested in buying an Ender 3 V2 of your own, you can find a link in the description of this video to learn a little bit more about the printer. There are a lot of incremental upgrades that we'll talk about in this video, but we're gonna focus on three of my favorites, and that's the X and Y tensioning belts, the color interface, and then also this knob right here on the extruder. And we're gonna talk about what those do and how they'll really improve your life if you're using a machine like this. Assembling this printer took me about an hour, but it's only gonna take you 26 seconds to watch in this time-lapse. The first improvement that we're going to talk about are the X and Y belt tensioners that are built into the frame of the machine. Tensioning the belts on a 3D printer is an important step of the calibration process, but most 3D printers don't have a very easy or user-friendly way of accomplishing this. The Ender 3 V2 has dials at the end of the X and the Y axis that allow you to increase or decrease the amount of tension on the belt. To demonstrate the effect that these belt adjustments can have on a print, I went ahead and put a lot of slack into both the X and the Y. In fact, I loosened them to the point where the belt was basically hanging loose. And then I ran a print. And you can see here in this calibration cat, it's pretty sloppy. There's actually a lot of artifacts and ringing, and just generally speaking, it doesn't look like a great print. So re-running with the belts properly tensioned, you can see an immediate improvement. Now this is a pretty extreme example, but it shows what happens over time as the belts loosen up, you want to have a way to adjust them manually. Next up we're going to talk about the extruder knob. This isn't a large or complex improvement, but it's a huge quality of life improvement, especially if you change filaments regularly. You can just turn the knob to remove and replace the filament without having to spend a lot of time shuttling it in. The other major improvement is the user interface. I love this user interface because it's clean, it's simple, it's easy to scroll through, but I cannot stop myself from touching it. It feels like it should be a touch screen, and the way the icons are even highlighted when you're hovering over them, I find myself just touching it, trying to get something out of it, and I know it's, I know it's not a touch screen. I would hope that in the future, Creality eventually ships this with a color touchscreen. It's just very unusual to see a full color interface like this that operates with a dial and a button for navigation. It's just a little bit weird to see. Given the price of the printer, I would strongly consider an Ender 3 V2 over a standard Ender 3 Pro just for the silent stepper drivers and ability to adjust the X and Y belt tension. They may not seem like giant improvements, but it makes a really big impact on your overall printing experience. Let me know if there's anything specifically you want to know about this printer. I'm going to be running it quite a bit in the next few weeks, and I'm really excited to see how well it works. As always, thanks for watching, and have fun printing.